Gamer, do you know what it takes to be the best? Because we do. The Elite Shoutcasting Network. Are you listening? GameStar Radio would like to advise that this live shoutcast may contain coarse language and content that may be unsuitable for people under the age of 15. This GameStar Shoutcast is proudly sponsored by OzGamers, the place to go for all the latest PC and console news reviews and downloads. So check out OzGamers.com for all the info. OzGamers, helping you be a part of Australia's games community. Gamer, do you know what it takes to be the best? Because we do. The Elite Shoutcasting Network. Are you listening? Okay, here we are in uh, round two of the pool section of the Land Smash. At uh, Brisbane here at ANZ Stadium, here we are on DE Tuscan, one of my favourite maps, and we have uh, the knife round going. It's actually living on 9 instead of 10, so someone's configured War Mod horribly, horribly wrong. As we're watching TKO with 5 versus NHA with 4, TKO starting out on the T side for the knife fight, as they uh, do the knife to choose which side they will be playing. As uh, Spinal takes down Lucas, Fury takes down Rav, Sav. And uh, looks like half the team for NHA are down in the knife round here. And, uh, oh, they're pretty much screwed. McFly, <laughs> Marty McFly. <laughs> Marty McFly in all sorts of trouble. It's a five on one. He is, he is dead set running like, um, like, like he's got a whole pack of uh, TKO boys chasing him. Because, like, they're just hunting in a squad at the moment. And, we uh, we put him up on the screen, but we won't do that anymore. No, we won't we embarrass him. him. Oh, he gets gangbang. Finally, spinal. Gets dropped, and uh, it's TKO taking out the knife round. Yeah, I didn't really expect him to do a whole lot there with uh, one, one, down, of, one v really five there. One v five. That's a huge clutch in knife. I've only seen that happen three times three. in the history of CS in my my experience. As we're watching the uh, NHI guys having to join up on the T side, TKO taking over the CT side at the start of this Tuscan. Uh, it is generally favoured by a lot of people to be a CT side of map, but uh, depends how you play it. As uh, for TKO, we have Spinal Fury, Faz, Rain Dizzle, and Expose. Who do we have for NHA tonight? Uh, we have for the NHA boys, we have Solion, Lethals, McFly, Skyrap, and uh, Rab. Alright, there's only two more players required to go live for this one. And we are on DE Tuscan, if I haven't said that already. And we're watching the guys just still in warm up. The, war si the ready system has been disabled, and we are ready to go live here in the first round of DE Tuscan. With TKO on the CT side, and NHA on the T side. So who are you going to put a tip in for this one, Pandian? After uh, TKO had that massive overtime match against uh, XG, you reckon they're going to take it? Well, judging by uh, the knife fight of NHA, I don't think they've got a hope in hell versus TKO. Spinal for the TD. It's watching the guys now coming through. Uh, we're watching up. Uh, the guys coming through the side right now. Not going to see where they're holding, so we don't want to give away the CT positions just yet as we're watching the guys starting to push up towards the sites, uh, getting ready to do a few picks. We still are in the pistol round. This is the all-important pistol round. You get a lot of momentum out of winning this round and the next as we're watching the guys come up through, uh, getting ready to do an attack on the site here, on the uh, A site, one of the two sites. Oh, the flashbangs go in. Oh, it's a massive phrase. Going down on the A side, the uh, Glock's over on uh, the semi burst fire. Oh, Fury comes through, down goes Lethal. And that's the first kill in regulation time to TKO Fury with the uh, the big one. There's a lot of Deagle spam going down in the mid. There's a flashbang, Ray comes through. The team downer picks up his first of the match. Rav doing the reply on Rav as Spinal comes through, down goes McFly. The pretty fly for a white guy. And uh, Skyrap picks up, exposed there. So there's only two guys left up for the T side versus three on the CT side. As we're watching the guys starting to, to launch the attack once more on the bomb side. As the rest of the CTs come through. Spinal gets a nice headshot. Bit of a little bit of spam, but he takes down Skywarp pretty comfortably there. And uh, we're watching the guys three hold versus one here. Coral Faz is gonna get gonna get the guys ninjing out from behind the box and takes him down pretty well. Spinal survives on 14 health at the end of that round. And that's one nil to the TKO boys. Yes, it was a nice round there from Spinal. Picked up three. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. So, uh, Luke, it's you know nice start there from TKO. It's NHA going to have all the work to do, I think, in this match. And um, well, I'm not sure about you, Pandan, but I think they really are going to be struggling to uh, take rounds off with a very polished outfit from TKO. Yeah, TKO boys have been playing in the CS community, the Queensland Land community. Uh, these guys have been around for quite some time. 
as we are now watching the guys starting to launch another attack. They have lost their pistol round, so uh, a couple of them are still deciding. Oh, TK Nate. Oh, Fury double Nate. Down goes McFly and Lethal. Fury, Fury cleaning up. Soul unit eats the big one. And uh, it's... Oh, look. Sit down. Sit down, Fury, mate. You're carrying. How big are your shoulders, son? You got a bit of padding in there. That's huge. Yeah, that's a nice... That's a four down in the second round. So all the momentum swinging right towards TKO at the moment. That's a five... Oh, for Fury and uh, three for Spinal. There's only two frags have been made, and of course the TK that took out uh, by Lethal Zor at the end of uh, in the middle of that round actually started off the frags. Yeah, it was uh, after that, Nate. It just kind of uh, went ass over for uh, the uh, NHA boys. So uh, there's you know frames going out as well. There's a lot of spin going up. Looks like T's just sitting there camping. Yeah, well, they want to make sure that when they do an attack on a side, they want to make sure they do the right attack at the right time. We do have a shotgun out here uh, by Skywarp oh, as he, spinal. as we're watching Lethal Zord getting taken out by Spinal, so he's proven to be a huge player to the start of this one. Faz is getting ready for people to come up towards him, but nothing's happening. Fury gets to take it on, but Rain Dizzle comes in with a double kill, headshot, and a body shot on Razab and uh, Soul Unite. And we're watching the guys still still now right, going to push through. It's like, there's Fury gets another kill in the middle of that flash there. Exposed coming through with a few key hops ready to chase him down. But Rain Dizzle will get him before anybody does anything. And that's the third round to them. And uh, there was not a single kill for the T's in that round of I, I just want to ask the TKO boys, uh, what, what is um, Faz and Exposed doing? It's all Ray, Spinal and Fury at the moment. As uh, the NHA boys struggling to get kills on the board at the moment. Just Rav and Skyrap. Uh, getting, um, just getting one apiece. So I think that's going to be the difference at the moment. Is the TKO boys are really uh, winning those encounters, man. Yeah, we're watching the guys now. They're playing uh, fairly defensively this round compared to how they were before. They're getting ready to uh, launch an attack and get ready to choose where they're going. CT's still trying to figure out where they are, and the T's, of course, still trying to find out where the CT's are. Just trying to feel each other up a little bit there, man. <laughs> As we're watching uh, Lethal Zor here. Manly love going on, I think. Yeah, we're watching Lethal Zor now with the AK. They have survived the first three rounds. They have lost the first three, but they've managed to save themselves up and get ready for a buy now. Is uh, There's still only two two members of the NHA team that even have frags. Though I guess the Lethal Zor's counts, even though it was a TK demand. No, it's um, going to be one of the best frags a lot. And down goes, uh, down goes Raph. Faz picking up the MP5. Oh, Faz again on Sol Unite. He's finally chipping in, carrying his weight. Spinal down goes McFly. So uh, it's all turning horribly wrong at the moment for uh, NHA. They uh, really are struggling to uh, pick off these CTs and TKO. Their uh, bank account's going to look healthy, I think, at the end of this one. Yeah, I definitely say so. There's only one guy left alive, and it is Skywalk. He manages to take down Spinal, but he'll get smashed again by Rain Dizzle. Rain Dizzle, of course, coming in with all the mop up kills last two or three rounds. So that's 4 0. This is looking to be uh, a, a bit of a molestation of the NHA guys. We're watching them now getting ready to go into the fifth round. It is 4 0 on D Tuscan with uh, Tiko smashing the crap out of NHL thus far. But N NHA, sorry, they don't play hockey. We're watching them go through, ready to go to attack the next side up through the middle here. And, uh, uh, yeah, everybody's getting ready to figure out where each other are and feel each other up once more. You really do love that phase. You just love guys touching guys, don't you, Pandan? But well, uh, I hang on friends a bit, so yeah, I do like to touch guys a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> uh, it's, that's what we love about this game. This is, of course, Counter-Strike Source Action. And coming at you live from Land Smash Summer Smash, it is TKO versus NHA. At the moment, it's TKO going up for zip here on DE Tuscan. As uh, everyone's just kind of uh, just prodding and poking... Trying to uh, suss it up. And you're calling me with the sus calls. As we're watching him here, just doing a few shots, trying to get a bit of damage through each other. Throwing the nades, getting a few sneaky shots through. We've got an AWP here going up to shoot through the kitty here. Flashes everywhere. Nobody knows where anybody else is. The flashes are still going up. And as I switch to Spinal, he's getting flashed. Faz manages to take down Lethal Zors, though, in the middle of that flash. The guys are all bunched up in an area. This could be really risky positioning for them. As Faz... Faz is pushing up pretty dangerously. He sneaks up behind him, takes out the bomb carrier and uh, McFly, and Fury gets to take out Skywarp. Faz, Faz is a sneaky, sneaky bugger, getting it 5 0. Shout out to Faz. Are you loving this, mate? Yeah, Faz is loving it. That's what we like to see. So, TKO, take out another round here. NHA, what would you do if you were their captain, if you were lethal? If I was lethal, um, well, there's not a lot that he can do at this point in time. I mean, he has got the nade team kill. Um, so he's not pulling himself through at the moment. As uh, oh, Faz, the big shot there on Lethal's. Faz is Faz is just pulling off a couple of amazing shots. The nades are coming through to him, but he still hasn't taken much damage. Skywarp though takes him out pretty comfortably. His teammate comes in behind to back him up. 
Faz is bust, uh, Fury's busting out with the AWP. So we've got the T's now. They sort of know where at least two or three of the CTs are. So uh, that's obviously going to determine where they decide to push through next. As, uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of a lull here as the guys are getting ready to uh, launch another attack demand. I must admit, Faz had a bit of a slow start. Um, and he's, he seems to have picked it up a bit. So I don't know if someone's dropped off a V or uh, a bit of a mother. But, uh, oh, Deagle's been for Fury. Down goes Rav. And uh, that's another racked up kill there to TKO. As uh, everyone's just going, a bit of action. Oh, Ray runs into Soul Unite, and uh, Soul Unite feels the pain. Spinal, down goes Skywarp, and uh, fire in the hole is the call. So uh, it's uh, only one up now for NHA. It's Mick Fly getting the white guy to it. He's, he's trying hard, he's just bleeding everywhere. He's going out of AK rounds, forced to go the, uh, the reload. The flashbang comes in, exposed comes in, and I'd just like to point out that uh, six rounds have gone past, and exposed has finally got a kill. Yeah, but uh, even though Exposed has finally got a kill, his team is pushing up pretty hard. But uh, we look at the NHA team. Soul Unite, Marty McFly, and Lethal Zors. That's disgusting. He has a negative ratio here, man. And this is negative. six rounds in. Six rounds in. I'm looking at him right now. Six rounds in. He's, he's got the part. negative ratio going. Oh, my God. We're watching Rain Dizzle now, though. He's getting ready to push up through the, through the middle of the connector here. Faz gets oh, another Faz. Faz shot. Why am I watching other people? Why don't I just watch Faz? As we're watching him just taking down the people left, right, and center. He's coming through now, pushing up pretty aggressively. And uh, you can see the weapon of the player he's killed right there. Blood all over the wall. He didn't even miss a single bullet. Just a 1B from the AK straight through the head. McFly finally gets a kill on uh, TK Fury. So that's another, another big kill there by uh, McFly. In fact, that's his first frag. He's 1 for 6 thus far. Demand. Yeah, Skywolf, I think he's carrying the NHA boys at the moment. There's oh, exposed, big orb. Well, down goes McFly, down goes Soul Unite. Exposed, letting loose with that orb as Faz comes in, picks up Skywarp, and uh, it's all it was the one up. Lethal's was uh, that last man standing. Spinal, I think it was, came through. Yes, it was. So Spinal picking up the last one there. The score now is 7 zip in favour of the TKO boys, and I think this will, if I dare I say it, Penny, this will be a knockout. I would say thus far, yeah, it's not looking too pretty for NHA, but uh, I have had a couple of people asking me for how long do they think it's going to be for Lethal Zor to get off the negative frag ratio, actually get a kill, because he's going to have to get two just to uh, break through to get his first frag, I, I, te- I think it's team strat at the moment. I think um, Lethal is just providing that anchor, that solidity at the bottom. That said, Spinal comes through, down goes Rab, so the TKO is just running all over the top of the poor old NHA boys. And uh, the orb shot from Fury goes out, McFly hits the deck. And uh, just continues to drop as his uh, brains fly in a completely different direction. The flashbang goes out. It's blinded. A few, I think, oh running for his God. life. Soul Unite unable to capitalize. As exposed, big shot on Skywarp. So the Orpers are just letting loose at the moment from TKO. Spinal chipping in with the odd M4 kill. Yeah, I would say so. I'm actually beginning to question whether Lethal Zor is actually drunk and conscious, but he is. we're watching him play right now. He's on a negative one ratio. I just saw him flash himself after walking point blank into an AWPA, but uh, he's still rocking to go through the map, and uh, he's still putting it through. He's calling everybody randoms, even though, well, I think we know who the random is in this match. So watching Expose, we're probably going to watch Expose this round. Haven't seen much from him. Waiting for him to fire up, get the huge kills coming through this round. He's got the USP out. Could be a big round for him. Oh, it could be a massive round for Exposed. He's uh, really, really been uh, letting loose on the go-go juice at the moment. So uh, it's Spinal, though. First kill on uh, on Rav as Fury was forced to bail. A couple of uh, flashbacks going. Spinal picks up his second. Down goes McFly. Fury with that AWP has uh, been letting letting loose in the last couple of rounds. So it's uh, him and Exposed just dominating with those scopers. As Lethal finally gets a kill. Big clap for him. Huge finally, there gets Fury. Yeah. That's what we like to see as uh, Ray comes through and just promptly ends that little charade. So uh, it's now all uh, left to Soul Unite and uh, Skywarp for NHA to uh, pick up what could be NHA's first round. I don't think it's going to happen. TKO, they are really a smooth groove outfit. Oh, we saw where he just was. Don't want to give that one away. Lizazor, yeah, that is true, Lizazor. You do have two frags, but one of them is a TK with a nade, so we're not going to count that one. As we're watching Faz now running around the side. Oh, we think Faz knows exactly where everybody is. He's in a pretty sneaky little spot, and uh, he's getting ready to, to check, out, check out this player as he comes through. Skywarp, though, gets a kill on Reindizor, as I say that, and Skywarp's running for his life. 
He uh, He's not looking too healthy at the moment. I think the guys know exactly where he is. Uh, exposed, of course, getting ready to have a look through down the Kidios or watching the guys come through. They, they know exactly where the bomb is. They're not 100% sure where the other player is. But well, they found him now. Exposed. Big miss from Exposed. Faz forced to come in and clean up. I think that's probably the first orb shot Exposed have missed all day. Yeah, so, but... Uh, uh, him. Yeah, he's only had to get his big daddy in there, get Faz to clean up the kills because he's stuffed up there and Faz, of course, coming in with the mop up. A uh, bit of team carry there going, but of course, Spinal rocking it up with a 12 1 in the ninth round. That is 9, oh, sorry, in the 10th round. That's 9 zip thus far. NHA are all, uh, well, they're all positive now. Two of them are on zero, but they have made it into the positive ratios. And we oh, flashbangs down in Spinal picks out Lethal's Faz on Soul Unite. It's a bit of backdoor action. Spinal Faz, oh, Faz the double. Oh, that man just keeps marching onwards. Poor old NHA have got uh, no reply. So it's now a uh, 3v2. I think 2v2 is Rav picks up the Faz. And mate, that exposed big shot on McFly. That's what we like to see. And uh, it's all now left to poor old Rav, who's uh, got not much left, I think, in the tank. Yeah, and I think I also am fairly confident everybody knows where he is. As I say, that Fury takes him down. There wasn't much hope. The whole team knew where he was, and they were chasing across the map to see who could get the first frag on him. And uh, it's 10 nil now as we go into the 11th round on DE Tuscan at Land Smash on the February of 7th, 2009. Yes, this is good old Land Smash. They do a great job here. So a uh, big shout out to those boys. NHA up against TKO. TKO with a commanding position here. 10 zip in the first half on Tuscan. So uh, I think they're going to probably progress through comfortably. I think it would you would say pans in from this uh, from this match. But that fury though comes in. Down goes lethals again. That's uh, almost starting to get a bit of a catchphrase at the moment. So there's a bit of bit of rush mid happening there. McFly gets a frag name. And there's just a bit of smoke going down as well. TKO just not quite sure how to progress from here. Yeah, the CTs have pushed up pretty far. Again, Fury putting a bit of distractions in there for Rangers or to pick up the orb kill. There's blood all over that wall. Shots fired everywhere. McFly now is trying to push up aggressive, but he's only just found out there's two guys there. So he's just coming up now as they both pop around the corner at the same time. Skywarp, though, gets a kill and chases down Rangers or shoots Skywarp. him in the back of the hill. Skywarp, though, is going to have a bit of trouble to take out Expose there, who's on 100 HP waiting for him around the corner. To be honest, I think Skywarp is his entire team as bait. And is just capitalising on uh, the TKO, just dropping them pretty much, because uh, that was two kills, a bit of backdoor action happening. So uh, the TKO boys, they roll out once more. NHA doing the same. And, uh, well, it's uh, almost a bit of a full-blown conclusion, Pandem. Yeah, they pretty much will have to win every single round in the second half to even be in this uh, at this stage. As watching the guys again, they know that NHA uh, are being a bit tentative, so now they're pushing up really aggressive every round for the last four or five rounds here and uh, just trying to lock them in and not give them any options at all. As watching Exposed now, he's pushed up quite aggressive. He's got a bit of a spot on, his, uh, on a tee hanging around the left. There's Sorry's Glock. There was a sneaky shot there. You saw United trying to push up, but Exposed takes him down, oh, and he takes down McFly, Faz double. gets another kill, Skywarp again baiting his teammates, manages to take down Faz, tries to do a big ninja jump around the corner, but Fury will look after him, and NHA in huge amounts of trouble, as it's 12 nil now going into the 13th round, wow, wow. Yeah, it's pretty much wow is the only way to describe what is happening to poor old NHA at the moment, it's um, and yeah, the likes of Spinal going large, exposed finally, has uh, got his gamer pants on, and is just cutting sick with that orb. And he's just, you know, he's just dropping stuff pretty much everywhere he can. So uh, NHA, they've really been holding back the last couple of rounds. Not uh, really wanting to take it to the TKO boys, which uh, I think in this position, you're really going to have to start doing it. Yeah, as you say that, Lethalzorf is the first blood kill once more. As Fury gets a kill on Ravzab as well. So uh, Lethalzorf keeping up the consistency there, dying first every round without getting a frag. As we're watching uh, almost every member on, on uh, NHA, sorry, still struggling to get into double digits for frags, but they've got it in their kills. They've got it in their death. They've definitely all got double digits in their desk. As we're watching Faz now, he's getting ready to uh, try and figure out where everybody is. The bomb is still in the hands of the t uh, T's as far as TKO are aware. So they're getting ready to push up. They've got to find out where this bomb is. Once they found that, they'll just uh, lock down the area. So Spinal gets a kill through the side of the box, through the door there on Soul Unite as uh, Exposed sneaks up from behind a Skywalk, chucks a digger bullet right in the back of his skull. Yeah, it was actually nice work there from McFly, um, dropping down the ladder there last round, managed to bait one and uh, almost picked up the second, I think, before expo Exposed uh, put a deagle in his face. But uh, nice work there from McFly, him and Skywarp, you know, chipping in hard. Rav's picked up a couple as well. 
So, uh, you know, NHA, they've got, they've got a little bit of skill there, but uh, they're just being outclassed by TKO, who, let's face it, are a quality outfit. So we've got some flashbangs, we've got some smoke going down, as uh, both teams just trying to get the upper hand here in this next exchange. This is round 14, and the CT's exposed! Big shot on McFly. He's uh, really on fire, picks up another one, down goes Rabbi, oh, the nade out from Sol United, picks up exposed, and the AK as well, down goes Fury, so NHA giving it back to TKO in this round, Ray picking up Lethal Zor, who didn't die first, let's point it out, as oh, Ray, quick shot there on Sol United, nice reflexes, comes through, picks up the last one, down goes Skywarp, and another round to TKO. Yeah, Rain Dizzle at the end of that round with the cleanup. It's 14 nil in favour of the Counter Terrors uh, TKO. As they're seeing, uh, the guys from NHA still struggling to get into double digits, but every single player on TKO is 13 or 15 points. It's a very even contribution now uh, thus far into the game, as uh, everybody's basically within two frags of each other. As they're watching now, the guys getting ready to go. They're putting up a few smokes, putting up a few flashes. They're getting ready to get into some sneaky places uh, using those grenades, which are very important in CSS. As we Watch Expose take down McFly with a huge deagle shot from around the corner. It looks like the TKO guys know exactly where the T's are. They're closing in now. They know exactly where they wanted to be. And uh, we're watching them right now. Lethal Zord Oh, Lethal Zord nade on Exposed. Yeah. That's, gonna be, that's probably going to be his uh, frag of the day. There's uh, Fury and Faz pick up the rest of them. But uh, nice work there from, uh, from Lethal Zord. He's finally got himself on the scoreboard late in the, uh, the first half. So the scores are currently sitting at 15 to zip. Yep, that is the end of the first half as uh, Skywalk calls out the massive fail. That is a war mod ready system getting ready to go for the second half. We just need three more guys to get ready, one more guy, because it is set to nine players being ready. Uh, apparently, uh, apparently Exposed doesn't have to shout drinks because they they're haven't. they not losing. I don't know what the joke is there, but uh, Exposed probably doesn't have even have, have to go down the anyway. Post-game, I think we have to go down and see what uh, Exposed is going on about. But look, mate, if you want to sh- shout out drinks, we're, we're all for it. Yeah, we're always comfortable with that, but uh, like I said, I don't think Exposed has got the money to pay for enough drinks for all of us here. As uh, Faz, uh, uh, the guy's getting ready to go, Faz dominating early on in that in that uh, last half with Spinal coming through the midsection and the guys catching up towards the end of the round. We are going live now, it's 15-0, so only one round is needed by TK Over They're playing the T side here on D Tuscan, uh, which of course is a uh, defuse map, that's mm-hmm. what it stands for. I was watching the guys getting ready to go. Here we are live in the first round of man. Take it away. Uh, I was just going to say, Spinal, in the last two games I've seen him play, he really has been rock solid, kind of providing a lot of uh, support and structure to his teammates. So uh, we'll roll out again. It's now NHA as the CTs, TKO, doing the planty planty. And uh, it's now just a matter of time until uh, they got some action going down. So uh, there's a lot of nades going off from both sides, lots of frags and lots of, uh, lots of flashes as well. So oh, off. first final, kill down goes Spinal. McFly cops one straight to the cheeks he never kisses with. And uh, it's now all up to uh, to the rest of the NHA boys. Spinal just continues romping over the top of them as uh, the bomb is slowly ticking away there. NHA, what are they doing, Pandan? I don't actually know. I think they're on the other side of the map, still trying to figure out which site the bomb's planted at to begin with. Uh, looks like they're regrouping now, trying to figure out which site it's at. Spinal, of course, that was a huge frag to solo take down B by himself with a massive deagle shot. This is a, kills being exchanged. Spinal again. He's only shot two bullets this round. They've both been headshots on guys from NHA. As uh, the bomb is finally blown up, so that's 16 0. That's a massive whitewash in favour of TKO. And uh, Spinal and Fury, wow. At massive aim through most of that match and just dominating. Yeah, the likes of Spinal Fury, even exposed, is just they're on fire today. TKO, they are definitely going to be uh, one of the dominating forces I think here today. And it's uh, it's always good to watch them play. They're really well polished outfit. They work well as a team, and uh, they're just bloody good shots. Yeah, they're pretty much our veterans here of uh, the Queensland Gaming. As we we finished up that one at 16 nil once more in favour of TKO versus NHA, and that is the end of this round. And we're going to see. Uh, we'll be back shortly, actually, with another cast within the next 10 or 15 I think we minutes. We might be uh, jumping across to a bit of TF2 action. I think that's going to get started. Ooh, we've we've actually got a, a TF2 celebrity in the house here tonight. Oh, do, do you we? know who it is? I can guess. Is we've, got we've, oh, got we've got two of them. We've got two of them. We've got actually. two. Oh, they just keep popping up out of nowhere. Who is it? We have two players from Encore here today in the TF2 competition. Encore Boomser and Encore Solus. They are two of the best players in Australia TF2. They will be playing here today with uh, the little reject buddy Barbs. He'll be trying to play, but uh, I mean, well, his Barbs.